today. It's my mother's fault for singing my way at two o'clock in the morning at the top of the stairs. Just my luck to have a mother like her. There is a chance my parents could be alcoholics. Next year I could be in a children's home. Doesn't know how it feels to be hungry and young. And he doesn't budge from his chair, doesn't care if I'm here or there. Yes, this is my family. Ask if I'm sniffing coke Disapprove of my friends I could be in some gangster's pay Or be wasting away Day by day While they said they're sunk in their gloom I could meet with my Gel in our bath, aerosol in the loom. Who sees if we've run out of tea or the dog's done a pee? It's me.
I'm being a good Samaritan to an old bloke called Bert Baxter. But unfortunately, he's not a nice old age pensioner. He drinks and smokes and reads the morning star. When I was just your age, son, when I was just a lad, things were far different then, I can tell you, my friend, they were ten times as bad. Had me no gilded youth, boy, lit by no sunshine rays. We were fourteen in the hovel, taking lessons how to grovel in the back. Mr. Lucas from next door has been in to see my parents who are malingering in bed with a flu. My mother sat up in bed in a flimsy nighty. She talked to Mr. Lucas in a yucky voice. I think Mr. and Mrs. Lucas have got an unhappy marriage. Poor Mr. Lucas. talks about her married life Her husband's perfect, she's the faithful wife She says, please understand But doesn't move my hand I know what women like She phones to say she feels half dead She'll take a volume and go to bed But if I say, okay She says, come anyway I know what women like They're predictably contrary and reliably perverse When they say I really mean it, they mean really the reverse They say I want to hear the truth, no flattery or lies But the truth must be they're beautiful, desirable, and wise.
talks about her married life. Her husband's perfect, she's the faithful wife. I know what women like I know what women like My grandma told my father off for growing a beard. She said, you may think it's amusing to look like a communist, George, but I don't. She said that even in the trenches at Wipers, my granddad has shaved every day. Sometimes he had to stop the rats from eating his shaving soap. Apparently he was even shaved by the undertaker while lying in his coffin. I don't recall just when he popped the question. I'm not exactly sure he ever did. He bought a ring, I've still got that. We had the hall, he had a top hat, he looked a tough, your dead granddad. We never had excuses for bad manners. No psycho this or social that at all. Folk were either sane or mad We know posh words for being bad But he was good, your dead granddad Tell me that he loved me We had no use for sentimental chat I'd wash the dishes, he would dry We dug the garden, time passed by I miss him still, your dead Barry Kent seriously menaced me today. He threw my snaplock executive briefcase onto the rugby pitch and he said that unless I start giving him 25 pence a day, he'll throw me onto the rugby pitch. Nothing personal, know what I mean? What you need is my protection In return I'll take collection Of a poultry pound or three It makes good sense invest in me Like you're the clients on the banker I need finance, you're a wanker Things are as they ought to be Now I've got you and you've got me And in the end I will get you I'll have your little guts for garters Mash your face in just for starters Cause you know my golden rule is No old spark go for the cutie Sorry gotta do it, gotta do it Sorry gotta do it, sorry gotta do it Gotta do it, gotta do it Nothing personal, know what I mean My parents are not speaking to each other. Before I went to bed, I took a cup of tea up to their rooms. 
to try to cheer them up. My mother was reading old letters in my father's handwriting. My father was staring out of the window and singing along with his Jim Reeves records. Your hair of gold, your eyes of baby blue. How can I ever face a life without you? Your lips so sweet, your touch so tender. You know I'll surrender to everything that you do. Your glance, your smile, they haunt me all the while. Sleeping or waking, you're always there beside me. Your look, your kiss, my riches forever. You know that I'll never let you go. To everything that you do There's a new girl in our class. Her name is Pandora, 
but she likes to be called Box. Don't ask me why. I saw her playing netball. Her chest was wobbling like mad. She'll need to wear a bra soon. I might fall in love with her. It's time I fell in love. After all, I am 13 and three quarter years old. I spent the weekend with my best friend Nigel. He really opened my eyes. Without knowing it, I have been living in poverty for the past 14 years. I've had to put up with inferior accommodation, lousy food and poultry pocket money. <laughs> You look such a right arsehole I've never seen anyone dress worse Your bottoms are flared And your boots curl up like the scared And that duffel coat positively festers Your jacket is straight off the tip Do you wear it in bed when you kick? Oh moly, you're holy Completely, words to beat me Try Lacoste, Doc Martin, some forest, he looks smarted. If you want to wear clothes, get them right. Your bike's a disgrace, you need a BMX or racer with a speedo and ten gears like my one. This woman will surprise you, got a built-in graphic equaliser with these new lightweight phones, why not try one? This digital Seiko's for you. If you want to play chess in the loo Oh, mole face, it's as simple as squeezing a pimple Ask for Rally or Sony, Tachini, Cheruti Whatever you get, get it right <laughs> Your text, I must say, falls far short of a true gourmet You live on baked beans and fish fingers 
in a hurry. A curry from a tin saves a lot of worry, but it does have a strong hong that lingers. The best things are subtle, not loud. And no two are few, not the crowd. Not your Tizer from Tesco, Press Cart here, Al Fresco. Say Martini, say Campari, say Adidas, say Atari, say Honda, Seconda, Aerobics, Jane Fonda. If you want to get on, get it right. My mother has fled to Sheffield with Mr. Lucas, and my father has started going out with another woman. Her name is Doreen Slater, but I call her Stick Insect because she's got no bust and no bum. I don't know why my father wants to have carnal knowledge of her, and nor does she. It's dead tragic, really. The other woman, his other woman, I'm another woman in the hours he spends with me. The other woman, why does it rankle so? You'd think by now I'd play my old familiar role with some good grace. Now for a week or two, I'll pretend you'll stay with me. Such brittle ecstasy, and she'll reappear. You'll say sorry, my dear. And out will go the sun The other My mother and creep Lucas visited us today to talk about who gets custody of me. The arguing went on for hours. I went to bed with a dog. You are my only true friend, always here at the end of a traumatic day. I'm used to your slobbering embrace And your lopsided face Is okay Oh dog Never gave you a name Still I'm glad that you came To the house Detract from your charms I suppose You're a bit of a mess But I couldn't care less In my arms Oh dog You're so floppy and warm We'll both weather
Bert Baxter has fallen in love with an old woman who has got bright red hair and wears ten layers of gaudy makeup. She is the type of old woman who tries to look young. Her name is Queenie. When you look in the mirror, the person reflected is a stranger you don't know and don't care to meet. But the young girl inside you is bright-eyed and flirty, not a day over thirty who longs to be loved. Why does you think it odd that those older than God should know pangs of desire, feel the flame of love's fire? It's not strange, it's not odd, cause inside these old bodies our younger selves live just as lusty as you. Telegram addressed to me from my mother. It said, Adrian, stop coming home, stop. What does she mean, stop coming home? I can't stop coming home, I live here.
my mother has returned from Sheffield. She threw herself onto the mercy of my father. My father threw himself onto the body of my mother. When she finally got out of bed, she asked me what I thought of her, as a mother. I said, you're all right. We had an in-depth conversation, during which I told her that we both have the same problem. We're not ordinary, but we have to live an ordinary life. I haven't got enough emotions to cope with the complexities of my life. I'm dead glad I've got Pandora. Love is the only thing that keeps me sane. <laughs>